Good morning, I'm really excited. So today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna track Patrick's macros. Actually, I'm gonna track whatever he eats. So he's gonna go about his day. Before he's allowed to eat anything, I'm gonna weigh and measure everything and put it into my fitness pal. And I'm really excited about this because I've been dying to know for years what he eats on a regular basis, just kind of the breakdown, what the carbs, the fats, the protein. And obviously it works for him, I mean, it looks great. But I'm just very curious to see if maybe he's lacking in one area and we can make some adjustments that might make him feel better or have more energy or change his body composition or who knows whatever it is. So let's get started. So I've never been able to bring myself to track my food, weigh and measure it really in any way. I've kind of gone off feel for everything and that's just the way that I've eaten. So I try to pay attention to obviously eating good foods and making sure that I eat protein, carbs, and fat. But as far as the portions for that or what I should maybe actually be eating, I've never taken the time to actually measure that. Christy's really good about it. She's always done it. So instead of me even having to do it, she's gonna follow me around today and figure out what I actually eat or what the proportions actually look like. So, what are we starting with? Uh, starting with three eggs, so this would be a typical breakfast for me. Uh, three eggs, some spinach or some sort of green, sometimes there's some carbs in there, and normally toast and jelly. So I scan the label, three eggs, we're at 15 grams of fat and 18 grams of protein. I'll let you guys know the entire meal breakdown here in a second. All right, so this is a fairly average breakfast for me. Uh, today I'm eating out, eating before I work out. Uh, if I do the vice versa of that, I might add a little bit more carbs, but more or less, this is a pretty typical breakfast for me. How many calories do you think you need? Uh, to be honest, I don't even hardly have a, re a reference, but I doubt that it's very many. Uh, 300? Wrong. 482. <laughs> That's better than I expected. Yeah, that's actually not bad. We also did include his coffee, which we didn't show you guys, but it was one tablespoon of heavy cream and half of a scoop of collagen. So his breakdown for this meal, 42 grams of carbs, 16 of that came from the jelly. A lot of the rest of it came from the spinach and the toast. 21 grams of fat and 31 grams of protein. So he's at about a 34% split on carbs, 40% split on fat, so he's a little heavier in fat and a 26% split on protein. So for Patrick, 31 grams of protein definitely seems a little bit low and along with the 40 grams of carbs, but we'll kind of see how that pie chart shifts and changes throughout the day. Next meal will be a little bit bigger. We'll show you what we got next. So this is a really typical lunch for me. I made it to the gym, coach did a workout, ate a protein shake or drank a protein shake after I was done, and then ate an apple on the way home. It is about one right now, so this is my second real meal. Uh, sometimes the ingredients will change for this depending on what we've got in the fridge, but this kind of style of like burrito is really common. So sometimes it might be chicken instead of beef, or it might be turkey. Sometimes it might be uh, sweet potatoes instead of rice. I'll mix that up a little bit, but really common for me. No, this is a serving. Well, that's gonna take forever. Well, how much are you gonna use? That's what I'm trying to teach you. Wait till you see how much ketchup you use on the night. So one. Okay, that was heaping, so it's like two and a half. <laughs> Three and a half. <laughs> All right, we'll call it four. I also made this a little bit different than I normally do. Normally everything goes right into the pan, just kind of eyeballing. Today it went all into the plate. Chris weighed and measured everything, then back on the plate, then into the burrito. But it was also interesting to see it on the plate. It's extremely interesting to see it on the plate. I was weighing, I'm like, is this all you do? And then he puts it in the burrito and it's massive. But yeah, I think he hit on it. We usually either buy 92.8 lean ground beef or 93.7 turkey. So that that fat range kind of sits around the same amount, whichever protein that we're buying. And then if it's chicken, it's just a little bit leaner. So we know what is actually, I know it's in that protein fat makeup. He has no idea, so it's gonna be really fun to see at the end of the day. Where am I at now? Where's this what meal this at? breakdown? I'm sure you guys could guess this break, this meal is significantly high in carbohydrates, which is what you do want post-workout. But in his post-workout, it's very high in carbohydrates. <laughs> uh, but in his post-workout, <laughs> shake he had about 20 grams of protein and 43 grams of carbs so he also does a scoop of formula one and a scoop of ignition just like i do well dive in it smells on delicious to the, on to the next meal guys i'll keep you posted see if my i just have a significant carb intake all day <laughs> or if it's just kind of condensed into a lunchtime meal but i'm gonna eat this we'll circle back if i get any snacks or anything in between we'll let you guys know and we'll circle back for the next meal This is fun. This was so fun. All right, so I've made it to the last meal of the day. It is coming up on six o'clock. 
Um, I have had a bar in the meantime, so in between the last meal and dinner, I did eat a first form bar, which are freaking delicious. And on average, this isn't maybe exactly what I eat every single day, obviously, but for tonight, it's gonna be a shredded chicken sandwich with barbecue sauce and sriracha and some uh, sliced potatoes, which we'll cook in bulk, as well as a salad. So a lot of times we will cook things like chicken in bulk. We made that in the Instapot and then we'll make a bunch of potatoes. Sometimes they're sweet potatoes, sometimes they're rustic potatoes. We'll make that in bulk. And then for me, a lot of times I will just eat very similar foods, but mix them in a different way. So tonight's potatoes, tomorrow it might be rice. Um, it, it can vary a bit, but this is a, basically what I eat on any given day. And Christy's got my numbers here. Yes, but first, before we do your numbers, how much do you weigh on average? Uh, I am about 190 Okay, right now. so for protein, you typically want about 0 0.8 to 1.2 of body weight. At 190, the minimum protein amount Patrick should be eating is 152 grams. The maximum on the high side would be about 228 grams. Looking at his caloric breakdown, before he had that bar, and he doesn't always have that bar, he just remembered to pack one today, he was at 114 grams of protein. With the bar, he finished at 134 grams of protein. I weigh about 130 to 132 pounds, and I eat 140 grams of protein a day. So I am currently eating more protein than he is. From there, the carbohydrates, he finished at 381 grams of carbohydrates. When I was training for the games, I think I showed you guys a couple of those videos, I was eating 440 to 460 grams of carbs a day. So for somebody, Pat works hard. Like he did two workouts today, he did some weightlifting, um, but sometimes he's drained. And so what this tells me is like, he is not eating enough and also fat. Like significantly, I keep my fat rather low and he only ate 71 grams of fat and I sit right around 62 and he weighs about 50 more pounds than me. So that is a big jump and he definitely needs at least another 20 to 25 grams of fat. So I think what we learned by doing this is, like he thinks he's making healthy meals. He's doing a really good job. His split was 56% carbohydrate, 24% fat and 20% protein. I would rather see that closer to like a 50, 30, 20, or even for him, when you're not training quite the, at the hours that maybe I'm training, more like a 40, 30, 30. So bringing those carbs slightly down, but definitely increasing the protein and the fat, I think you'd see significant changes in his energy and probably strength, body composition, and all of the above. So even though he eats super healthy, I think it's it's very common. Like if you have no idea kind of what things look like, a lot of us under eat. We think we're eating more than we are and that kind of shuts our metabolism down. It can also inhibit our sleep and it can also make us feel really crappy. So I'm a huge advocate for making sure that you're eating throughout the day and that you're eating enough to support all of your mind, your body, all your functions, your workouts and everything and that you're just living your best life because I know when I under eat, I am hangry and moody. Yeah, I think for me, this is just interesting. If I'm being honest, I'm not gonna be counting my food. Uh, it's just not realistic for me, but to see where I'm at is definitely kind of eye-opening. Uh, there's, though this is pretty average, there's definitely days that I might not even drink a protein shake after I work out or I might not have a bar. Uh, sometimes we're just out of them or something. So even going without those would drop those numbers even lower. And just to have the reference that my protein intake on a regular basis is so low is helpful. So I think not just for me, but for everybody doing a check-in like this, where you maybe you count your food or your macros every now and again, just to have a reference. If you're kind of missing one way or the other is certainly a helpful reference. So this is definitely an eye-opening experience for me. It was great learning. His total calories, I forgot to mention, were 2,679, which is actually under what I'm eating when I'm training for the game. So like, I definitely, if he's active, which he is, sometimes you do two a days. He also coaches two plus hours a day. He does lots of moving, lots of walking, um, just making sure that you're, you're fueling enough. But like he said, check in. You don't need to count all the time. It's just now he has an eyeball, an eyeball, he has an eyeball. <laughs> now he can kind of eyeball his plate and just be like, oh, I'd normally put this much chicken on. I'm gonna put a little bit extra just to continue increasing protein levels. Yeah, I would have guessed that I ate more protein because uh, I like it. So to be honest, I would not have guessed that that would have been the thing that was under. Yeah. And I would have thought that my carbs were probably on the higher end because I definitely like those too. But yeah, this was a great learning experience. Hopefully this was beneficial for you guys and maybe gives you a little bit of a reference in whether you can either count macros or know somebody who can. If it's not gonna be a regular thing, having that kind of, that check-in every once in a while just to see if you're kind of skewed one way or the other can definitely be helpful. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And stay tuned because I'm gonna show you guys what I eat on a regular basis throughout the day. Probably more than in our next video. So make sure to like and subscribe.
Stop it. 